Good morning. I am Devis Ena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about incidence matrix. This topic is present in the subject circuit analysis, a part of the network topology topic. Let us start discussing about the incidence matrix. An oriented graph can be completely represented with the help of matrix known as incidence matrix. The incidence matrix gives information about the branches incident on which nodes and their orientations at the node, whether towards or away from the node. There are two types of incidence matrix, namely complete incidence matrix. It is represented by capital A suffix small a and reduced incidence matrix. It is represented by capital A. We discuss about the complete incidence matrix, capital A suffix small a. The incidence matrix is nothing but mathematical model to represent the given network with all the information available. The information regarding the network is nothing but which branches are incident at which node and what are the orientations relative to the nodes. All this information is written in a matrix form which is called complete incidence matrix. It is represented by capital A suffix small a. Complete incidence matrix. Consider the following network and its oriented graph as shown below. Figure A represents the given network and figure B represents the oriented graph of the given network. Now we discuss about the figure A. In this figure A, we have four nodes as A, B, C and D. And we have six branches. It is indicated in the graph. There are four nodes A, B, C, D and six branches as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The directions are selected randomly for explanation purpose. For a graph, if there are N nodes and B branches, the complete incidence matrix capital A suffix A is equal to small a suffix AK. It is a a rectangular matrix of the order n cross b. The standard conventions to be followed while writing the incidence matrix are given below. A suffix ak is equal to 1 if the branch k is associated with the node h and oriented away from node h. A suffix AK is equal to minus 1 if branch K is associated with the node H and oriented towards node H. A suffix AK is equal to 0 if branch K is not associated with node H. The complete incidence matrix of the network shown in figure is, is given in tabular form. The nodes are a, B, C, D. The branches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the representation of the oriented graph. For this oriented graph, we are going to represent complete incidence matrix. The complete incidence matrix of the network is as given below in tabular form. Here, just consider about the node A. In this node A, branch 1 is going towards the node A. Branch 2 is going away from the node A. And branch 3 is going away from the node A. It is indicated in this tabular as for branch 1, minus 1, for branch 2, plus 1, for branch 3, plus 1. Other branches 4, 5, 6 are not 
included in node A. So it is represented as 0. Similarly, for other nodes, it is given as here. The above result can be written in matrix form as follows. This is the matrix representation of complete incidence matrix. In this, the nodes are considered as rows in the matrix and columns are considered as branches. In above matrix, the summation of elements in any column results in zero value. This is because each of the branch is considered in one column. Each branch connects two nodes. The current flow towards the node at one end of the branch while it flows away from the node at another end. Any one row of the complete incidence matrix can be obtained by algebraic manipulation of other rows. For example, in above matrix, the fourth row is negative sum of first three rows. At least we can eliminate one of the rows as that can be obtained by negative sum of others. Each row in the matrix corresponds to a node of the graph. Each row has non-zero entries such as plus one and minus one depending upon the orientation of the branch at the nodes. Also, the entries in all other columns of that row are zero. Properties of complete incidence matrix. The sum of the entries in any column is zero. The rank of a complete incidence matrix of a connected, that is the oriented graph, is n minus one. The determinant of a loop of complete incidence matrix is always zero. So far we have discussed about complete incidence matrix. Now we will discuss about the reduced incidence matrix. When any one row from the complete incidence matrix is eliminated by using mathematical manipulations, then the matrix is called reduced incidence matrix or simply incidence matrix. It is denoted by simply capital A. Here is a representation of a tree. The reduced incidence matrix is always of the order in minus 1 cross B. In the above discussion, if fourth row is eliminated by the mathematical manipulations, then reduced incidence matrix is given as this is the representation of the reduced incidence matrix. It is represented by a capital letter A. Here we have eliminated the fourth row as discussed previously. Therefore, we have three rows only, row A, row B and row C. For a given graph, select a tree. In the incidence matrix, arrange the columns such that the first n minus 1 columns correspond to the twigs for the selected tree and last b minus n plus 1 columns correspond to the links. And this is the tree we have selected for our discussion. Here we have branches 2, 4, 5 present in this tree. This is considered to be our twigs. Then reduced incidence matrix A can be written by writing columns corresponding to twigs first and columns corresponding to cords. That is links after that. This is the tree we have selected for our discussion. In this tree we have branches 2, 4, 5. The branches that are present in the tree is considered to be the 
twigs and the other branches that are not present in the tree is considered to be the links. Here is the representation of the reduced incidence matrix in matrix form. Here in this matrix, first we have to consider the branch 2, 4, 5 that are twigs for this tree and 1, 3, 6 are considered to be links because the twigs 2, 4, 5 are present in this given tree and the links 1, 3, 6 are not present in this tree. So, we have returned the twigs first and links after that. This is the representation. The reduced incidence matrix can be written as A is equal to matrix of A of X T and A of X L where A of X T is the square matrix of the order n minus 1 cross n minus 1 whose columns corresponding to the twigs hence name of the matrix is twig matrix denoted by capital A suffix T. This T is the representation for the twigs and A suffix L is the matrix of the order n minus 1 cross b minus n plus 1 whose columns represents the links. Hence, the name of the matrix is link matrix denoted by capital A suffix L. This L represents the links. Number of possible trees of a graph. For a given graph, it is possible to calculate number of possible trees of the network using a reduced incidence matrix. The number of possible trees for any linear graph is given by expression given as follows. Number of possible trees of a linear graph is equal to determinant of A matrix and A transpose matrix where A is the reduced incidence matrix, AT the transpose of a reduced incidence matrix.